Okay, so uh, John, 4 0. He thinks that you're going to spank Forest 4 0. I can't believe he just said that. We were friends before we started on here. What's going on? <laughs> Probably about right, though, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's not far wrong. He's not far wrong, is he? No. Hey, mate. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And obviously, you guys played Wolves, um, the game that you were training in, come back 2 1, and then obviously, yeah, uh, just, finished just, another draw. You've had a lot of draws, haven't you? This, this, uh, mate, we, we just can't turn those draws into wins. I mean, but the thing is, the last five games, we've like drawn three, um, drawn three, lost one, won one. Those points at the end of the season, if you tally them up, we, it might just be our saviour. I just don't know. You know, we just, we're just, we're not great at the minute, Mark. I mean, I'd love to be sitting here as smug as that Man City fan was, but I'm sitting, know, like, me too, I'm sitting here like a Forest fan who's like thinking to himself, the world's going to end if, if we get relegated. You know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> And, and, and one of the best moments of my life was last season when we beat Arsenal, and it was like that was brilliant. And yeah. I thought to myself, we're going to sign all these players, we're going to get you know do this and do that, and finish tenth. And but no, well, no. you you did some, well. Steve Cooper signed a hell of a lot of players. What was it? I think it was like twenty two, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, something silly. But we had so many on loan, it was unreal, mate. We had to we had to replace them and build pretty much a new team. We got penalised for it, as you know. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, that's 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 a kind of a difficult one as well because you think. I was thinking this earlier. Like, if I was to ask you, where do you need to improve? Like, where do you need to sign players? But you probably can't even do that now. You no. probably you, the balance in the books now for you must be so tricky. So, even if you do stay up, how do you improve on that for next season? I don't think we have to. I mean, if we stay up, I think that Nuno will get it right, and I think he's got the players that he's bought and he's had bought for him. That he's inherited, that I think it will be all right. It's just getting them them players to gel. We got um, Morgan Gibbs White, who I absolutely think is mm-hmm. an absolute bowler. He's yeah. unreal. And if, if we go down, he was gone. He'll go to Tottenham or, he'll, you know, he'll go, he'll go to Newcastle, we're sniffing around him. I read today, you know what I mean? He's, he's just such an outstanding player. He's my favorite player for Forest, you know what I mean? He just puts it all on the pitch and he just leaves it all out there. And he reminds me of like the way he runs around. You know, like when Beckham did it against Greece, just every blade of grass. When you need him to win that game, that's the player that you look at, and he's going to do yeah. a little flick, or he's going to do something, he's going to put the crowd on their feet. On their feet, you know what I mean? It's just, and he scores as well. His his delivery from set pieces ain't great, mm. but um, yeah, no, he's just an absolute baller, mate. I love him a bit. He's brilliant. Is it a bit of a combo? Because I, I see I, again, I didn't, I don't know this that, but I, I can't remember the last time you had a clean sheet. I know you've had a lot of draws, but they've typically been. At one alls or two twos, you just can't seem to keep them clean sheets. But we can't, we can't defend set pieces. Yeah, it's, it, it's either a corner or a free kick. It's just going to undo us. Um, we got Matt Sells in goal now, who's actually a really good keeper, and you know he, he's coming. He's 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 took over from Turner. You know what I mean? Turner came from Arsenal as their reserve, and I I, I liked him at the start. But I think he is he's a reserve goalkeeper. You know what I mean? He's he's back up. Yeah, um, but then Matty Sells came in and he's been brilliant. Um, but he just can't keep that clean sheet. It's dri- it drives us crazy. You go one up, and you kind of know you're going to concede. Yeah, you know, and it's it's like you have to go two or maybe three up, you know, before you can actually relax a little bit. And then even then, you know, at three nil at half time, we've we've been two nil ups going in at half time, and then the other team score like two one straight after, and then you the crowd get nervous. I get nervous. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it it just drives you crazy. You know what I mean? Because you know that there's we're going to concede at some stage. You know, we haven't kept, like you say, kept a clean sheet for ages, you know, and it, it is really hard to watch for us at the minute. Well, it's hard to watch for us at any time, you know what I mean? But <laughs> it's a lifetime commitment, then it? Just like West Ham. I know. What, what can you do? It's a curse that our father's it, put it, on it, us. It, it's a curse that you just love and hate it with equal yeah. amounts, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is approaching squeaky bum time for Forrest, um, but I think you've, you've only lost one in the last five, so that's, that's promising signs. Yeah, but three um, draws and a win and a loss. But like, like yeah. I said, you know those 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 little wins, sorry, those little draws. Mm. You top them up at the end of the season. If we stay up by one goal difference, you know what I mean. You're yeah. not, not even by a point. Does that one goal difference we stay up over Fulham or Everton? You know what I mean. And I'm glad to hear that Everton were losing tonight. Yeah, I was I was going to say I was looking at the league table here. So Everton obviously did have two games in hand. They're only one. Looks like they've they've lost that once. Um, they're only one point ahead. So yeah, I don't know who we they're, play, they're. We play Everton next as well. Yeah, <clears throat> I was going to say there's a six pointer for you, and then That's I think exactly. Everton have got Chelsea. No, sorry, they've got Chelsea tonight. Then they've I can't remember, they've got a decent team, I think, after that as well. So, do you think you'll you'll turn them over? <sighs> it's hard, mate. Honestly, I, I can't say we're going to turn anyone over. 
I mean, I'm really, really appreciative that the Man City fan thought we was going to beat them 4-0. So, you know, <laughs> we, we'll see what happens there. But, you know, I'm looking at my looking at our games left. You know, I write them down. I've got my bum here. We've got Everton, City, Sheffield United, Chelsea and um, Burnley. You know, if you, you yeah. that's not a bad run-in when you're looking at the, the broad scale of things. You know what I mean? Mm. And I'd take, obviously, we need to beat Everton. We have to beat Everton. If we, but do we want to, would I take a draw if you gave it to me now? I probably would. Yeah, but I mean, City is going to bash us. Then we got Sheffield United. We Luton as Chelsea. well. We're, we're at home at Chelsea. Last game, last home game of the season as well. You know the crowd. The, every, everyone's talked about the crowd at the City Ground. Do you know what I mean? And how how it inspires the whole team and how noisy they are and how brilliant they are to back in all the players. I think we could probably turn Chelsea, Chelsea over at home. Last game of the season. Last home game of the season. I mean, then you got a Burnley who, who will probably be down by then. You know what I mean? What well, I don't know, mate. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> when you asked me to come on here earlier, fan. I said, why do you want to see a grown man cry? That's why you've got me on here, isn't it? Because you just, I don't know what's happening with Forrest at the minute, mate. I, I, I'd love to say we get, well, I wrote it down, three wins, a draw and a loss out of the, like, the last five games. If we got that, I'll be over the moon and we'd stay up. But we, we could just as easily lose all five. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's I, madness. That's that's the beauty of football at this end of the season. Everyone is so nervous. Um, <laughs> it's just it just drives me crazy, mate. Honestly, I love it. I, you love it and hate it in equal equal parts. Like you say, you know, you know yourself being a West Ham fan. I've known you a lot of years, Mark, and you've seen all the ups and the downs, like I have, mate, with Forest. Yeah. I just don't want to go another twenty odd years before I, before I see Forest in the Premier League again. That's that's the problem, isn't it? I know you get the parachute payments, but it's and even that they're disputing. There's the talks of dispute, disputes on that as well at the moment, but yeah. Even if, even with that, we've seen enough teams go down with those and still not be able to to bounce back. We well, yeah, look at um, teams like Middlesbrough are massive, you know what I mean? And they haven't really come back up since they dropped mm. down, you know. But like it's like again, Forest, you know, when we came up when we invested, you get penalised for investing nowadays as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing now. Like I was saying to a Newcastle fan, by the way, Lewis has just said that Turner's another Flapienski. I'm going to say Fabianski has been our man of the match for about the last three games. I mean, it's not to say a lot because the rest of West Ham team has been shit but he has kept <laughs> yeah. us kept it respectable um, but yeah what were you saying before that lost my train of thought then no just just oh, God, you've lost me as well mate you cut me <laughs> off mate what's that all about <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there is another question actually for you John while, while we're here um, yeah. which is what are your thoughts on the NFFC ownership was Cooper right to go um, I think he took the far, the, the, I think he took the team as far as he could have um, I love Steve Cooper. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. He totally embraced the whole culture of Nottingham Forest. He was Nottingham Forest for him for a while he was there. And I got nothing but love for the guy. But I think his limits were found out when we when we was in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think it was the time was right to bring someone in with some Prem experience like Nuno. Um, yeah. And I think we played, I think at the minute we we're playing better football than we did under Steve Cooper. Um, I think we're more attacking. You know, you, you look at us going forward, we could cause any team any problems. You know, a lot of problems for any team. It's just the defensive side, which Nuno will get right because he was also always very good as an ex-goalkeeper as well. Mm-hmm. You know, he knows what he wants in front of, you know, he, I'm, I used to be a goalkeeper. I'd like to pick a back four, you know what I mean, that will protect me as best as I can and then build from that. You know, so as an ex-goalkeeper like Nuno is, obviously not on the same level, he was never as good as me. Um, <laughs> he's going to look at that defensive line and, and and make it as solid as he can to protect his keeper. I think um, he will get it right, but it's whether or not if we do go down, he, he stays and he gets the opportunity to kind of build. I think if we stay up, we won't be a false, obviously. You know, we're still a new club in the uh, Premier League. Hmm. But I think we'll build... It will be stronger, a lot stronger in season three than we were ever was in one and two. And I don't think we'll be flirting with relegation if we stay up this year for next year. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I know that uh, obviously you turned Wolves practically into Portugal's B team. Do you think you can see a lot of uh, um, influence coming in from abroad? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we, we've bought actually quite well. When you look at the players on paper, I know, like I say, football's not played on paper, it's played on grass. But, you know, when you write the, the, the team down, they're all good players. You know, they're, they're all players that would, 
the mid mid Premier League Premier League team players, if you know what I mean. They're not top top players. If you look at Morgan Gibbs White, it's probably the only one that would make the next step up, if you know what I mean, to a to a top six team. You know what yeah. I mean? And he would he wouldn't look out of place in a top six team. Do you know what I mean? Nico Williams as well. He's been playing really well. Loves I've seen him link with like the likes of Newcastle. You know what I mean? And he would easily make that step up to the next level. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, the rest of the team are, are building and they're gelling. They're trying to just get that consistency that you need to have as a Premier League team. And um, I think if if Nuno's given enough time to do it, he will make us decent. And we will certainly, I think, be mid-table plus. You know what I mean? That Rather than where we are, we're, we're kind of fleeting. We're actually in our second division in the Premier League. So we are basically, when you look at it, exactly where we should be. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? We, 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 we should be dancing with relegation until we get ourselves established a bit more. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. why a lot of the times the, the teams that come up into the Prem are the teams that genuinely go down. So what we've done in the past couple of years has been exactly where we should be. We're not an established team in the Premier League yet. We, we are getting there. If we see out this season as still a Prem team, then you build and you build on season three. You know what I mean? And you, you attract better players. You attract the better quality of players. Nuno's got his, his, his own way of playing, which I really like. And people may want to come and play for Nuno as well. Yeah, yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's established, isn't he? He's definitely a good manager. Yeah. I know, uh, obviously, yeah, between Everton and, and Luton and yourself, isn't it really, going to make yeah. up that final one to go down. Yeah. Do you think, I think everybody kind of wants, not everyone's against Forest here, John, I'm not saying that. I know, I no, 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 this, no we're going to Luton to do it. I'd, I'd love what? to see Everton go. I'd love to see Listen, I, I was talking. I was talking to my boy Mitchell right the other day, and he went, he loves Luton. I said, well, if you want Luton to start, up, Forrest has got to go down. And that kind of stopped him in his tracks. You know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> well, I, I think he probably loves Luton more than he loves Forrest, so he wouldn't mind if we went down. But you know what I mean? It, I'd love to... Everton have been flirting with relegation for the past couple of seasons. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it would be that bad a thing for football, because they'll come back up. Forest have had their Forest have had their time in the in in the the, the the championship and even down to League One. You know what I mean? And I, I I think I think Forest it's horrible because I'm a Forest fan. You know what I mean? I'd I'd like to see Loon stay up. I'd like to see Forest stay up. I've really got no got no love for Everton. I've got nothing against them, but I think they've like I say they've been there or thereabouts the past couple of seasons where they could have gone down, but then they've they've got a couple of good wins and they've stayed up. So. It is what it is. Whatever I say and whatever you say is not going to change what's going to happen, is it? It's all about opinions, football. And because I love Forest, I just wanted to stay up, mate. You know what I mean? I don't care who goes down. That's all exactly, Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, looking at, I was looking at the uh, like the, the good players, I think they could get them out. So Luton, I, th- I, I quite like the look of Colt Morris. That they've yeah. got a striker there. I think it's, he's like about one in three. For a team like Luton, obviously Ross Barkley's been outstanding this season. Oh, he's been excellent. But... But for Carl Morris, he's a sort of player I think you know could improve. You know, if, if they do go down, would be a, a great signing for a for a West Ham, but for a Forest as well. I think he's that kind yeah. of. Listen, you're, you're 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 going to do what you did with um um. <laughs> who did you get from us? Who's still playing for you? You talking about Antonio? <laughs> Antonio, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You'll probably end up with a one year if we go down. He's your sort of player. <laughs> Yeah. And that'll be a bit, a bit. It'll be, it'll be playing for West Ham in like ninety years' time, like Antonio. <laughs> is, you know what I mean? And still doing him out. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, he's a good player. Um, like you say about Barkley as well. He's been outstanding. And I thought he, I thought his best days had gone. To be honest, I thought he was a, like a marquee signing for Fulham just for the name. But his football's been outstanding all season. He's been, out, he's been by far their best player, and he's, yeah. he's dragged them through games. You know what I mean? And he, he's been. That that he's the he's the one gives white of 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 uh, of Luton, you know what I mean? He's the one that they look to. He's the one that's got that little bit something special in his locker, you know, that he will unlock a game with a pass or a shot, or he'll just lift the crowd, you know what I mean? Like like Gibbs White does, you know what I mean? And yeah. I've got a lot of time for Barkley. I think if he was in a better side, he'd be he'd be probably looking for an England call up as well. The mm-hmm. way he's the form he's got at the minute. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean such a competitive uh Centre midfield we've got though it's ridiculous with Ike's and yeah. Maynard. Like Cole Palmer couldn't even get get on in the recent friendlies. 
ridiculous. He's just gone and scored a hat trick tonight. He, he's, 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 he's got three already. You know what I mean? Which is good for me, obviously as a Forest fan, but I've also captained him in my dream team as well. So I'm over the moon with that. Double win. Double win, exactly. Mate. Double, double win. Uh, okay, Lewis has posed another question here. Go on. Just to wind us both up, I think. Go John, on. would you prefer good football and a future with Nunes or boring negative football with no real plan with Moyes? Obviously, league positions. Would you rather be West Ham in seventh or Forest in 17th? I, I, I'd probably have less of a heart attack if I was supporting West Ham. So probably <laughs> the West Ham. But I like the way Nuno plays it. You know what I mean? He, he, we, we're good going forward. I think any team, especially when they come to the city ground as well, you know, they know with the crowd behind them, every time we charge forward, we look dangerous and we look like we're going to do something. It might not always happen, but then the ball gets turned over and the crowd get equally as excited as they are going forward. They get equally nervous when it's going back and especially when we get like corners and free kicks around, you know, around the box. You know what I mean? It, it's, yeah. You know something's going to happen. It's not normal. It's not always good for Forest, you know what I mean? No, I think it's so tight there with those you, those three teams. There's going to be some really interesting twists and turns. I think, I don't, I don't like to say it, but I, I pretty much think the title's done and dusted now. And I hope it isn't, but I just can't see City messing it up from here. I think I, I think I saw something this morning, I don't know who it was, that said that Arsenal are out of it now because they're chasing the best team in the world. Mm-hmm. Because the, and they know how to win. I think it was, it might be Merson. I'm not quite sure. He was, he was on, on punditry. But they're yeah. chasing the best team in the world that know how to grind out results. And like your, like, like your contributors have said tonight, they could go 25 games unbeaten, let alone six on the bounce. You know, if they go yeah. six on the bounce, they've won the title. Um, but being a Forest fan, I'm not used to talking about titles. It's been about like 40, 50 years since I've been out to win. Not the Forest titles. Title. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you, no, I think City, I think City are nailed on. Um, but I think it's, it's so hard. I mean, we're playing City at home. Yeah, I think we're we at home. No, yeah, I think we're playing City at home in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, they're odds on favourites to win that game. But if we turn up on our day and we get a couple of quick goals like we did against Man United, I think it was two and a half against United a couple of years ago mm-hmm. at Old Trafford. You know, it, it, this football is why we love it, isn't it? And if we, no one, no one knows what's going to happen. The chances are they'll turn us over five, six, seven, nil or whatever. <laughs> but there's, there's always that glimmer of a hope, isn't it? That they might all have heart attacks in the tunnel on the way out. <laughs> and you, you know, you, you might get a walkover. Yeah, it's the hope that kills you, though. That's the problem, yeah. isn't it? Is that, uh, again, supporting the teams that we support, there's that hope, the glimmer. It's like, well, we had a we had a good result against them five years ago, so it might, it might happen you're, again. You're European champions, mate. That's, a, that's uh, what I hear from people around me. You know, it's a pony cup. Whenever I talk about West Ham. No, you're European I, champions at the minute. Uh, I, I don't. I, I had this argument with West Ham fans. I, I still think it's a pony cup. I, I think it's. But uh, mate, I tell you what, I'd love to it. get a pony cup instead of where we are at the minute. So you take it, <laughs> and don't I'm tell just, me you didn't celebrate when they won. I, I promise you, I I, I could have. I, I didn't. It was really weird. It was really weird, and I was. I was sat with Lewis here, actually watching that that game, and he'll he'll tell you that I just wasn't excited about it. Because the, the reason I wasn't, because we were like, I don't know, 16th in the league or some, something really bad. And Moyes would have got sacked if, yeah. if we hadn't won it. And we won it. So then we just, I knew, oh, great, I'm looking forward to another season of absolute crap football to watch. And but, that's that's what he's delivered. But, you know, Mitchell's the same, Mark. He he, he hates uh, Ten Hag. So every yeah. time, like, man, you lose. He's like, brilliant. They're going to get rid of him. And they just don't. And it must be the same for you with, like, Moisey. You want him out quite clearly, but he keeps yeah. just hanging on by the skin of his teeth, doesn't he? Yeah, we get, we get, we'll lose, we'll lose, we'll lose. Just as you think he's going to get the sacks, he'll put out a result. Yeah, and he just just buys him that job, and he's been he's been doing that for too long. Now, I know that's harsh, and people say, "Well, West Ham, sh- they're where we're where we should be, or even above where we should be." But it's like this is that whole thing about results business versus an entertainment business. And I, I'm yeah. a going back to that purist. You know, I like to watch a good game of football. And I don't really get to do that with, with West Ham. You know, I have to watch lots of other games, which Kelly annoys, annoys Kelly. But I have to watch lots of other football to yeah. see different games. Yeah, no, I get you on that, mate. But who would you take in, in, instead of him? Yeah, who's, that is that there at the minute that you would want as a West Ham manager? Well, I'd take, you know, I would take Potter over over him. He was given an absolute poison chalice going to Chelsea. But I like what he played at Brighton. 
Mm. I mean, there's no other real, uh, he's the only other real English manager. I'm not saying it needs to be English, but there's enough in Portugal, Germany that we could probably try something. The only problem is that our board will not sign. They've already said they don't like foreign managers. They were so badly burnt with, with Pellegrini. Yeah. That they, they, they said they, they don't want to go foreign managers. So it doesn't leave us much choice. Steve Cooper's still out there. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass on that one. But John, look, thank you very much for coming on. It's been an absolute pleasure to catch up with you, my friend. And Good luck mind. to uh, Forrest. I, I do hope they stay up, honestly. I want Everton to go down. Sorry, so Everton quiet. fans are watching this, but that is what it is. Top man. Thanks, Mark. Lovely, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Love to you, mate. Take care. Bye, mate. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for joining us on Talking Balls this week. We will be back next Monday at 8 o'clock. As always, hopefully we'll see you there. And if you do want to come onto the show, just get in touch, add it into the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts and we will see you soon.